I believe we are live. Maybe. Possibly. Not really. Let's wait for the stream to pop up. Make sure it's working. And then we will begin. If you guys happen to catch my test where I thought I hit record and I hit stream with something really stupid, um, I'm sorry. I don't think that uploaded though, so probably okay. But there might be like a one second video of me doing something really dumb uploaded to the channel, which I'll have to delete later. Okay, we are live. So that's good. Um, that's real good. So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and not care how many people are watching because I kind of don't know how to check that. So, we're only going to have the chat. I don't care about the viewership. I'll obsess over it anyway. Let's begin. So, we are going to make a game today. And by make a game, I mean we are going to begin to make a game today because making an entire game in one hour is pretty freaking hard to do. Uh, so, I want to show you guys what my idea is. And then I want to show you essentially how uh, I envision making it. So, what we're going to do here is open up just a picture. This is just a mock up of how uh, my idea for the game I want to make today, or at least begin. And then I want to show you guys how we're going to bring it to life. So, I've done um, turn based strategy games before in the past, but I've never really done one in the last like decade. And um, I have also haven't really done like a 2D game in a while, and I really like pixel art, and 3D games are just too damn complicated and too time consuming and really easy to get wrong and make suck. So I decided to come up with this little idea that I haven't really come up with a name for yet, where essentially um, there's uh, opposing uh, teams, one guy on each team, each one rolls the dice, decides how many spaces they can move, and then um, each player... I, Hi, Borahan. I hope I didn't screw your name up. Um, glad it works. I don't know why I'm doing that. The camera's over here. Um, okay, so yeah, one guy's going to roll the dice. The other guy's going to roll the dice at the same time. They're going to move. Uh, the object of the game is for each player to make possession of a ball and dribble it to the other team's goal. Um, the idea is that if... I haven't really hashed this out 100% yet, but I think the way this is going to work is that you're going to have to land so many spaces from where you move. So like if this guy rolled a four, one, two, three, he can really only go to this space because that's the only one, but there would kind of be like a ring of spaces he could land on. And then um, if you land on defense, you make the other guy lose the ball. If you land, I'm not 100% sure on this last part yet. I think it's either if you cross or land on the ball, you, have, you get possession of the ball, so you're dribbling it. And then um, if you land on the other guy, you either take the ball immediately away from him, like tackle him and take the ball, or maybe I'll do something where you roll the dice to see who, who keeps the ball, which would kind of be really fun. Um, but the idea is that you can play defense by landing on these spots, which will reset the ball to the, to the midfield. But it'll basically be like a first to three or first to five match, and whoever scores the first five goals wins. Really cool idea, but I've never done these hex tiles before. I don't know how to program them. I mean, I could guess around, but this is a one-hour stream. So what I did was I did a little bit of looking up on the math of how hex tiles works. And um, I got to say, I think I'm pretty good. This is the idea that I had before I looked it up. So what I want to do is have like a grid of hex tiles, but the idea is that every other row is offset it so that um, essentially you can represent it in storage like as, a, as like a scene file or, or I guess you could say like a, a map file as a regular grid of uh, you know what, what tile goes where, and then you just offset every other row. However, I've been told it gets complicated when you want to find out the distances between these hex tiles. So um, this is such a cool website. I can't recommend it enough. Um, what this guy did was actually explained that because each hex has six sides, it's the exact same uh, geometric representation as a cube, which means you have four sides on the outside and the top and bottom. So you can actually think of a hex grid, this is so cool, 
you can think of a hex grid as essentially a bunch of cubes in neighboring spaces. I haven't really fully wrapped my head around this, this, this part yet, but what's really cool is that this guy has actually provided code to convert to cube coordinates from offset coordinates. So I'm probably going to use this little algorithm here. Um, let's get freaking started. So what I did yesterday, which I'm really glad I did because it would have took like a freaking ever, um, I did some preparation in advance for this stream. The first thing was I drew all the little sprites, not all of them, but a lot of the uh, hex sprites um, for the player, the ball, the defense shield, and the playing grass hex. And I even put together this kind of Gaussian blurred background, which is going to be the background of the field. Uh, because I really like the pixelated look, we're going to go with a 320 by 240 um, uh, screen resolution, but we're going to double it because no computer can run that. So we're going to essentially stretch that out to 640 by 480, and that'll cover that. Um, so what I think I'll probably do first is just get this background. So because I haven't used GIMP in a while, and I hate the way it runs on Mac. Um, there we go. I need to grab this layer for the background and copy it out as a separate thingy. Thingy, all right, file. Paste as new, right? Yes. This is our Gaussian blurred background. It's not perfect, but it's enough. I wanted to create this kind of uh, difference between the background of the field and the foreground. What I actually might do so the colors don't blur is I might do like a, um, uh, what is that? Values, hue, hue and saturation. I might just desaturate the, um, the field a little bit so that the uh, tiles really pop on top of it. So I did that. And I'm going to export this to a place called Assets. I don't think this works. Oh, shit, it does. That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to manually. BG. So you fucking type when I ask you to. It looks like I broke it. So we're just going to call this Untitled because GIMP has a problem. Okay, Untitled. I've never really done this. Oh, you didn't miss much, Red Chan. I have not done all the art on stream. I did this last night because it would have been like two hours of me drawing and you guys just looking at me draw pixel art, which is cool, but that's not what I was going for. Um, so you literally just caught the beginning. So I just made this background, which is cool because we're going to need it. Let me show you what we have. So we have this folder called Assets, and we have a folder called Game, which is nothing really important in it, and then we have the source code, which has just one C file in it, which we're about to open, and then the project. I want to iterate because a lot of people from other sources might think that like I'm making a Mac only game and that like I'm super into Mac. It's not the case. I just really like the art programs uh, like Pixelmator, which I'm not showing here. Um, so that's why I'm on a Mac. But this code will build and run on a PC all the same. So no big deal. Okay, so I'm making a game here. I don't just want to rush through it, even though I'm really only screaming for a bit. So what I'm probably gonna do. I'm thinking of making a separate file. Well, maybe not yet. Okay, so these are all our globals because we're in C, and in C there's really no such thing as encapsulation in a way. I could really maybe separate some of these out, but I think what I'm going to do for now is leave these as global. Um, if you guys want to see what better encapsulation practices are like, you can check out my other video. So, texture. So weird programming like this. I've been doing so much C++ lately. Like coding like this is almost like a return to form or something. It's crazy. Oh, I better add the background in here. It's kind of something a little bit weird and relaxing about going back to C, if I'm honest. Okay. Free. Fucking. Oh, that's good. I like when the code completer just stops working, like, right away, or well, whatever. Are you kidding me? Really? Time to restart Xcode already. We're off to a freaking great start here. Like, what? No. Oh, God. Wow, that's an awesome, awesome start. 
So the reason why I don't just type everything out is because I have issues with um, my past in that I, I overdid it typing and kind of screwed my uh, hands up a long time ago. And they're fine now, but I've always got that issue that I don't type when I don't need to, hence me using a lot of code complete in my videos. Um, and this is so much more convenient, so if it stops working, I'm restarting next code. Plain and fucking simple. Oh wait, that's not the fu uh, function. 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 There it is. It's been a while since I've used SDL, guys. So this might take a while. That was smart. It was one of these renderer? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got this, we got that, we got BG, which is used. I'm just going to stop bitching about that. Free all global resources. Hey, my green tea shipped on Amazon, which reminded me I was going was gonna to get some drink for this damn video, and then I didn't. It's not very really smart. I'm going to need that because I'm talking a lot. Destroy! Destroy the texture. Okay, you guys have probably seen all this shit before in my video. I've done it like a million times. Um, hi, Greg and Dark. Uh, I am not a big fan of Rust. Um, I actually have never used it, but I hear a lot of talk about somebody implementing a Vulkan uh, backend for converting DirectX 12 to uh, Vulkan, but they're using Rust, and I really don't see the point in that. I'll look into it. I guess I shouldn't have a really uh, strong opinion about it until uh, until I see how it ends up being a thing. I think you can pass an all for these. I'm going to find out real fast. No, you can't because i got to stretch some things. That's a 320 by 240 image, and we're going 640 by 480. So we actually need a stretch rect. I'm just going to assume this is x, y width height because I really freaking hope it is. The source can be null still because we're taking the whole thing, but for the uh, destination, we need to pass the stretch right. And if I did this right, you should no need to clear the screen anymore. Which I'll just comment out because I might need to bring it back like I'm doing a title screen or something. Let's see what this looks like. It failed. It failed. You just have a declared identifier. Fuck you. All right. It feels good to be making a game again, even if it's just for one video. That's wrong, guys. That's not the right picture at all. BG ping. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. I stretched this tile up to the full damn screen. It looked cool, sort of. Not really. Not what I'm going for here. Yay, background. I like it. Now things immediately get like infinitely harder because we actually need to draw the damn <laughs> hex tiles and this is something I've never done before and could end up being a complete disaster on stream. So my thought process is I'm going to start with just making essentially a class which doesn't exist in C or a uh, module to handle the entire field map or we're just going to call tile map. Maybe I'll call it hex map. Sure. Did I get a header with this too? I did. It's really nice of it. I really don't like this if and def shit. Fragma once has been around long enough that I think we can get away with it. Um, and we're going to need the hex map to do a couple things. First things first is C, so we have to do the old type def shit. Ooh, I'm getting corrupted by JavaScript here. Um, hex map. I'm not going to fill this in just yet. Um, so the whole point of this is we create one. We give it a width and a height in tiles, which I have no idea how many tiles can fit. I'm sure that site might actually help me. But in reality, we can make the map. <laughs> Why am I drawing? You can't see my fingers. We can make the map like take up less than the full screen and just center it. Um, because I one thing I don't want to do, I've done in the past, I made a game where it was like turn-based strategy. And there's way too much space, and you'd have to roll like 80 times to get anywhere. So I want to make this really small. I also haven't drawn the goals yet. I'll worry about that towards the end. Um, so to answer my own question... Oh, and there's also going to be blank spaces where they're not going to draw any um, hexes at all, but they'll be represented in memory because it's just easier to do that way. So int width, int height. Probably all we need is just going to create a blank hex map 
which tells me that we're probably going to need something called type. And we're probably going to want to define our tile types. You get the idea. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use pound define for these. But, you know, if we're going to go C, we might as well go, like, really fucking dirty, ugly, old school C. Void destroy X map. Might as well stick with the language that's the funniest. So we got a constructor, we got a destructor, and then we need to actually have a X, um, oh, I don't know, right? I was thinking about like having these all have similar names. I really don't want to get in my own head and start over-architecting something this stupid. So uh, this is actually going to be called hex map tile. So we need two things. We need hex map, we need hex map tile. I know for a fact that the hex map is going to be a regular grid of hex map tiles, right? Hold on. Let me just think for a second, if you don't mind. One, two, three, so six and six. So yeah, regular grid. That makes this so much fucking easier. Tiles. Okay. And then this is going to need to know its width, its height. Sorry for typing weird. I'm used to Swift. My day job, I've been kind of coding in Swift a lot. Did I make a mistake here? This thing just being slow. It's being slow. Um, here's the real question. Do I really need to store anything except type at every single tile? The player position is going to be independent. I guess like the ball can move around. We'll stick with this for now, but in reality, this could literally just become nothing more than a bunch of ints, which kind of seems a little weird, but... For now, I definitely know that I only want to write types at a time. I'm going to get some damn drink. We'll be right back. I'm still here, everybody. Good thing I ordered green tea on Amazon because this is the last of the stuff that I got. Okay. We're going to have a function to load one of these from a file, which I'm going to get at, because there's no way in hell I am manually constructing one of these things in the code. So load hex map, which probably should just be the same thing as constructing one. And this is C, so there's no string type, so we just do file name like that. Now let's start writing some of these things, because it's already been 15 minutes. And there's no way in hell this stream was actually going to materialize to a full game. I'm starting to realize that. But... Maybe you guys can get an idea just kind of the process and how this works in the way I think. Um, the simplest thing to do for me right now would be to have the creation function. Well, this is actually more simple than I thought it would be, but I'm sure it's going to get nuts later on. Okay. Xpat. Map. Malik. Do you need Malik to be a header? I don't remember. Stupid blue. Stupid. Standard lift there we go. Size it. Stop it. Size of hex map. Just one, right? Yes. I'm not gonna bother mem setting this, I know what I'm doing. Mem set's just a way to clear all the memory out to zero when you start, which is kinda not making any sense if you're just gonna rewrite everything anyway. So X is width is width. Height is height. Hey Eric, how are you? Um, I'd say my opinions on Go are probably identical to my opinions on Rust. It really would come, I haven't looked up those languages and uh, my biggest pet peeve or my biggest thing about uh, languages as far as like whether or not I like them or not is their memory model. Memory model is a fancy word for how they, they, they manage their memory and whether or not um, they let you do it yourself, which is faster, it doesn't suck, or they do it for you automatically, which causes the whole game to slow down. Tiles. So, just kind of reiterating you guys, or kind of refreshing you on how this works. Um, you create the map, but that does not allocate the actual tiles memory. You have to allocate that yourself, because um, uh, 
uh, essentially what happens is you have a pointer to a structure which has a pointer inside of it which needs some shit in there. I'll just say that. I don't know how technical I'm going to get in this video because I'm thinking about in the future doing some um, live streams maybe in other places that have audiences that are not as, um, uh, they haven't gone through my other tutorials and they're not as Cody programming me as you guys are. Did I fuck up? I fucked up uh, hex tile times with times height. That'll work, right? Sure. Everything will be just fine. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Okay. So we created one, now we gotta destroy one. You can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. Free map. Free map. Tile. That's it. That's all there is to destroy it. Nothing to it. No big deal. Load hex map. That one's fucking scary. We're gonna just gonna get gonna wait on that one. Um, one thing that might actually help me is to have a local function here. By local, I just declare it static. That gives me um, yeah, tile cord to offset. I know I typed my shit out really long. It's Apple's fault. They started making me code like a Swift guy. This is void. What the fuck's wrong with me? And then there's not void. This is an int. I could talk about this for a little bit, but the way this works again is if you have a tile map that looks like this, in memory it ends up. Why don't I just make this harder to understand? C D E F G H. In memory, what it actually looks like is A B C D. E, F, G, H. So this is kind of linearizing the coordinates. That's why I'm doing this. So pass in an X, pass in a Y, you return Y times width plus X. That's right, right? Each row has width elements. Yeah, sure, it'll crash. If it's wrong, it'll fucking care. So when you write the tile, the tile to chord offset, the X, the Y offset, and then map tiles offset equal oh now this is where it gets fun because this is a struct and inside the struct there's a type so you actually need to do this does that build it builds cool oh one thing you guys are going to love you already know this but if you clean and do a build from scratch look at how freaking fast c is like java swift all those other languages are just so slow even c plus plus is so slow and I just love how fast C is. It's one of the reasons why I kind of like going back to it. It's just so nice. It's a, it's a nice place to be. I forgot who used to say that. But he's probably dead. All right. Yeah, sure, it's the right top. If this function was called by an idiot uh, that passed either a negative value for X and Y or a value greater than the width and height of the map, it will crash. But I'm not going to waste time writing a lot of code to safety check things when I know I'm the one calling these functions. I might regret that later. Probably okay for now. So we're going to leave that the way it is. All right, so we have our code that I have not even ran yet to test to see if it works. But the most important thing for me right now is to determine how to load one of these from a file, which actually sounds scary but isn't too bad. Um, the way this is going to work is inside our resources or assets, I'm going to have a subfolder in here called maps. They're really kind of like arenas or fields, but we'll stick with maps. Oh, that was gross. Okay, so yeah, go into maps. It'll be a text file. Uh, default, sure, dot map, whatever. It's not like that's been used before. Oh, I was really worried that I have my stream key still up on uh, BB Edit. If I did, I would literally have to freaking stop the entire stream. That would really suck. Matter of fact, there's one thing I'm going to check real quick to make sure that I do not still have it in the clipboard that you guys can see, and I don't. Not that I don't trust you guys or anything. It's just not a good idea to do that. Um, let's load the hex map. So here's how this works. I'm going to do this really simply in memory in an ASCII text file. So in other words, the way this is going to work is I'm going to have um, the map be um, started out with two numbers which is his width and height. I want to start out really simple here, so I'll probably go based off of this. So right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sure. So nine by nine. And the way this works is we're going to have characters in rows. You can separate them by spaces. It won't be a big deal. Um, I know I could write assertions, Eric. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just a, you know, unsafe bastard. 
in my real code, like Roto Studio, everything's safe, and I check it. But this is this is for fun. You know, I want to have fun here, so I don't want to mess around too much. So there's going to be nine characters in a row. Two, three, four, five. This is our field. One, two, three. You can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, that's nine. I don't know what characters I want to use for what. I'm thinking X will probably be empty space. Uh, I can't use space because I want to skip spaces as I go. Um, I can use underscores. It really doesn't matter. So this is an empty field. For grass, what I'm going to do, let me get a little closer to this. I don't want to follow this exact model because it's not right. Like, see how this guy's up here and then there's two spaces here, which is kind of not fair. So let me just like count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, because he's too far away, right? So he's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the ball. He's 1, 2, 3, what the fuck? That's weird. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. Well, my brain don't work because that, oh, it doesn't matter. I could just get rid of this one over here. and be, Okay, sure enough. So, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11 is fine. So let's do 9 by 11. I think they think of width by height. Um, sure. So that's actually 9, 10, 11, right? And then the goal is probably going to be just past this. I'm just going to come up with a way to maybe represent it. I don't really know, not really sure yet how I'm going to do that. But to give you an idea, guys, of what I mean here is. Oh god, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm not going to screw around and get too much, but this tile's going away, and this tile's going away. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's just do it, man. Let's just go. Okay, so grass is going to be G. So skip two, G. Skip one, G. There's no insert button on the Mac, by the way, which is just kind of more annoying than it needs to be. Skip 2G, skip 1G, skip 1G. I know the player's there, but we're going to represent that differently. Skip 2? I can't tell. Well, it's not the end of the world, as long as it's centered, and it is. Okay. Now, this is offset. This is where it gets a little fun. I don't want to represent this in a way that doesn't really look like in real life, and I'm going to have that parser ignore spaces, so I'm actually going to shove the off... the the. Can I talk? I'm going to shove the odd rows off like that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So now, welcome to level editing in the most ghetto way possible when you don't feel like coding a level editor. Uh, first one, shield. That'll be S. Put D. It doesn't matter. I'm going to def define what all these are later. Skip one, two grasses. Skip one. Welcome to the exciting world of game programming, guys. This is so weird. It doesn't look centered like I thought it would. I think it's because I'm an idiot and I put the shield where it should have skipped two of these. It's actually in a weird way kind of skipping a half. And that kind of has to do with the way this works. Oh my god, okay. So it's really only skipping one. Shield. Skipping one. Yeah, that, that looks better. That makes more sense. Two grass, skip one. Grass. Skip two. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to be the whole fucking stream. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Nobody panic. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm just looking at this. This was. I'm looking at where the line is. It might actually make more sense in my head. Maybe go like this, so at least I can keep my sanity while I fucking do this. Okay. Uh, I might only do... No, I want I want this whole thing to be... I was thinking about saving time for the sake of the stream, but... Why does that look weird? Oh, no. 
I might I might literally just do a couple things and make edits to this because I think me going from this picture, I'm I'm just gonna make some mistakes. Um, I think it's gonna be too difficult to try to do it from the picture and get it perfect, you know. Okay. Because the shield should really have these like on each side of it, not like this. The good news is once I get one, I literally can just mirror it and copy it to the bottom. Hey Amir, I'm defining the ASCII format for how this map's gonna look when I parse it in. This map's just a picture. So in order to turn it into an actual game, I need to define a file format that's gonna um, work. And I'm kind of getting stuck in my own head because I've never really done hex before. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm just going to cut this. Nothing. Shield. Space. Two grasses. Space. Grass. That doesn't make any fucking sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we know for a fact that there's going to be less of these here, right? Oh, I get it. This one at the end I don't fucking use in mine. So leaving it blank is probably what makes the most sense here. And I miscounted nine. This is actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, so there's seven of these, so it should be seven by eleven. There we go. That makes more sense. So one. Don't skip two. That's grass. That's grass. Sorry guys, I know this is tedious, but this is the way it is. You know? Game programming is not all glamour. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Alright. Let's just fucking go. I had a counting, just like use the line counter here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you get the idea. So this is a way for me to avoid creating an entire level editor. Um, you know, if it was just a regular grid, I would understand it a lot more. But I've never done uh, hex tiles before. And I even thought about maybe in the stream I shouldn't. But you know what, like I've never been one to back down from something I don't know how to do or never done before. You know, it's just not how I am. So if, I really like the idea of learning something I've never learned before. Uh, it's just super uh, rewarding to get. Um, yeah, it just is, man. So like, so I'm doing it. So now I actually kind of freaking might actually have an understanding of how this works. There you go. All right? Okay. Once I get to the ball, I'm literally just going to copy paste the top half. Um, thanks, Red Chant. I'm going to I'm going to copy paste the top half to the bottom half, and we'll basically have it. So, uh, shield grasses. It doesn't help that like my eye is getting lost. Two grasses. So we've done the one after the shield. So now we do X. No, we do grass. One X. Two grasses. 1x, a grass, just like the one before. Now we do two grasses, x, shield, x, two grasses. Now we got the balls. I'm going to put a line here to let myself know. We have x. I think there's two x's. This is the part where I might get a little bit lost here. Ball. No, we don't. We just have one. So we do one. Yeah, this doesn't count. So we do one X, a ball, two grasses, a ball. It's like a puzzle game, so it's just not fun. <laughs> okay, hold up. And then, uh, two X's at the end? I think that's how that works. Because again, I'm leaving this blank but it's this extra row which was getting in my head. That's it. And then we just flip it. Flip it real good. Okay. 
So, fucking the rest of this. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking like I'm gonna easily be able to rotate text. It's probably not the way this is gonna fucking work. I don't want the ball part. I just want this part. Okay, let's just see what happens here. So. I might just end up having to do this manually because there's no way to vertically flip text without just retyping it. So I was really happy thinking I was done, but uh, I'm not. Um, so fuck it. Okay. So that was the ball. We got a blank. We got a grass. We got a blank. And we got a shield. And we got a blank. And we got a grass. And we got an X. If I get this wrong, it's not the end of the world. I want to just move on from this pretty soon anyway. Um, Grass, blank, grass, grass, blank. Well, that's cool. That one's mirrored well. This actually might work. Grass, I'm down here now. Grass, grass, blank, grass. Yep, yep, yep. Grass. Uh, how the hell does this work itself out? Well, we need a shield here, and I think it's right here. And then the player is going to be down here. Yeah, I want there to be symmetry across this. So the player's going to be on this grass. There's going to be an X all the way until the very end. There's no shield up here. I don't want to have a shield. Now, again, this is going to throw you off because... Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. We got it. It only took like an hour, so we're good. All right. Let's save this. Wouldn't it be funny if I just lost the file? Oh, I need to make sure that um, this is, it is 11, because, yeah. I'm checking. 7 by 11, and 1, 2, three, sure, whatever. It'll crash if it's wrong, I don't care. Let's parse this damn thing in, because that was kind of a lot. Not really, but, yeah. Let's load it. We need standard I.O. to load the thing. Standard I.O. is what gives us file. File, file, F open, path to our lovely map. Oh, <laughs> file name's passed in, my bad. Oh god, what the fuck was that? This thing's trying to make me look stupid. You know, it's going pretty well, guys, for a stream. I'm really glad, you know, there's people here. It's really cool. This, this is great. Read. There's one case where you do want to make sure if something goes wrong. I just... Jeez, it's been a while since, isn't it just called F error? I forgot the damn way for, oh, standard error? Okay, it's been a while since I've done C. Jesus. Cannot find the thingy. In reality, in this case, you're pretty much kind of fucked. So what I'll probably do is just kill the whole program. It's old school C style. Hex map. Oh, we got we got to read some stuff in first. Oh, hey Amir, this is C, straight C, one of the oldest programming languages that is still considered sort of high level. So we got to read the seven and eleven first. So that's pretty easy. F scan F. Wondering if I should do the old school way. I used to read a line at a time and do F S scan F. That's the way I used to prefer to do C when I was younger. Sure, I'll do it that way. Char buff. We know that we're not going to read more than a thousand characters at a time. So then what we do is we do F get S. Right? Put a while loop here. While we are not. It's fucking calling me. That's a robocaller. Let's, hit, let's answer. Shut up! Alright. Robocaller's gone. Um. <laughs> this is kind of funny. If we're not at the end of the file. That's actually kind of really stupid. Uh, if we're not at the end of the file, then we... Uh, what the fuck is... Man, why did they make this so cryptic? It's been a while, guys. Man. It's three, I think. It's the same damn thing. I'll tell you anything. Pretty sure you just do this. I don't know what the int is. Oh, the int is 1024. And then this is the file. I think this returns null if we're at the end of the file. I think. Return value? Any, anybody? Returns null if they are already read. Sure. 
So now we have our nice string with the shin in it. And we need to S scan F it. I like to read from a string because with files, if you read and you need to go back, you've got to rewind the file. With a string, it's in memory. You can go back as long as you want. It's kind of the idea. Um, so we need our width and our height. I know I haven't defined these yet. I will. I think this is just supposed to return to uh, the idea of me breaking when anything goes wrong. I'm really starting to get tired of these braces. Don't judge me. Uh, the idea of breaking when anything goes wrong is just a way of something goes wrong, just one liner quickly fix, you know, uh, just quickly jump out, you know. I'm not worried about error handling too much right now. So the idea here is that once we know what the width and height are, what the fuck am I doing? This while loop isn't needed yet. While loop is when we're actually reading the... Yeah, I'm thinking of this in a different sense, like the file could be anything, but in reality, um, there's kind of a lot more structure here, so we could just do this line by line. It's good to initialize these things because if something were to come back from the file and it didn't set them, they'd be wild memory, which is not something you want. Okay. Bear with me. We want to read this line by line at a time. So once we know the width and the height, we, we can create the map. Right? Yeah, with and height. And then that's what we're going to return when we're done. Then we read the damn thing, which is a four and i zero, i less than width, i plus plus. And it's quite simple, not really. This is the part where I actually kind of miss C in from C++, because it's kind of not easy to do without it. Um, fuck it, let's just go really old school. While, with the OF, and F, get C. We need C type. C type is a, a header for determining, I fucking thought it was, uh, whether or not something's a uh, is space. But it gives you this function is what I meant to say. So let's look at this for a sec. F git C file. While to space, just fucking loop forever. It will eventually leave if I think FEOF is also true if the file is uh, uh counters an error. Um, I'll just put F error to be safe. I don't want to create infinite loops from bad maps or parse. Um, now here's a little trick here. I need to know what this character was if it was not a space. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just create it. And this is kind of ghetto, but whatever. Uh, I just assign it here. And then the idea is now I know what the character is. It's kind of some ugly code, but it, it gets the job done. Uh, and this is where we get to have some fun. So at this point, looping for i times when we know that this is the case, with times. I need to read. Man, thank you, Eric. You're absolutely right. I forgot to uh, do a pre pre-read of the whole F get us thing. He's absolutely right. You actually saved me. That would have been annoying to catch. Thanks, man. Wow, fuck me. Okay, <laughs> good call on that. That would have been um, that would have been interesting. Okay, we got the width and height. We got the f get s, which we're actually not doing because I'm an idiot. Um, here that would have been bad too. That would have just jumped lines from the file. I could have done get c from the string sort of, but not really in that case. Um, you could just see kind of how my brain works when I'm just doing things on the fly. I mean. There's some cleanup I could do, but this will this will be fine. Um, I want to switch on the character, and then X. 
this is an interesting idea. So we know that tile type empty is zero. I'm going to define a couple of these. There's one shield two. Is that it? Ball. I'm kind of thinking that we might not actually store the ball in the map because it's going to move around. Or maybe I can just, well, it'll be with the players, so maybe I can just hide it or something or set it back to empty I, I, or grass. I know what to do with this. So the idea is that because the tile type empty is zero, when we construct the hex map, we can actually mem set the entire which is inside string.h. We can mem set the entire map memory to zero, and it's the equivalent of clearing the entire map to x's. So by me doing this, scm, so it's source constant size. This is kind of dumb, hold on. Uh, is there a size t and c? Yeah, there is. Map memory size here. We zeroed out the map, which means when we encounter a X, we don't need to do jack shit. It's the same as kind of default, meaning nothing. In the case of a G, watch how, how nice this is. We literally just call, we've already created our map. So we call our own function, right tile, map, ooh, shit. Well, we know what y is, right? And essentially, i should really be x. Right? And then type is grass. We do that for all of them. Oh god, I need to print. I don't even have a damn printer. Tile type shield S. It was S, right? Yeah. Next getting all tight. I'm gonna make sure you get up every now and then to stretch, which I'm not doing. Alright, damn it. Ball. Ball. Grass, shield ball. That's it. We're going to do the players separately because they're actually going to move around the map. The player is probably going to have a tile coordinate defined for where they are. Right? Okay, sure, whatever. Um, this is cool. I like the way this is shaping up. I haven't ran anything yet, but we'll see. Uh, I can inspect the memory myself. Is there a getter? I need to write a getter. If, even if just for debugging. I'll just return the type out of here. This being a struct might not have made sense, but I like it for future uh, needs or whatever. You guys have probably guessed that right or Did I really call this right? I'm starting to feel like this should be called set and get. I know. Well, whatever. Okay. This is how I think on the fly. Just fucking change you. And there we go. And then get. This is as simple as us, instead of writing something, returning something. All right, sure, whatever. And then this just got renamed up here. Uh, where is it? Oh, geez, I did this like four times. See if it builds. It builds, no errors. So let's just try to read our damn map in and see what the fuck it looks like. Because that's how this works. So we include our own little hex map here that we've invented, and then we create a static global for it, because global seems to be the theme of the day. It should be called tile map. One thing I really obviously did not draw, uh, do yet, which will probably be the last thing we do on stream, is the draw function for drawing the tile map. Because if it doesn't look right, that's probably going to take like a half hour. We might go a little longer. I'm not going to do a screen where you don't see something on the screen. That just hurts. Sure. Let's just do it right inside a knit. Tile map equals load next map. 
this file needs to go into our resources. I'm going to check this box, it won't be there. Xmap. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Cannot find shit. Okay. Well, what was it saying? What was it complaining about? Invalid. Did I screw something up? Yeah, I did. Yeah. See, even C does every now and then provide useful error messages. Why is this complaining? In it game, not found. What you fucking mean, not found? That's weird. Can't really recall I've ever seen that happen before. Well, I'm not in the mood for dumb shit today. Oh, load hex map is not found. Sure about that? Oh, did I add this to not the target? Yeah. That would have took a while if I wasn't on my toes today. Jeez. Which is in, okay, there's a couple things I made a mistake of because this file wasn't actually building. Uh, no need to exit one here, just return null. I could spell it. That's good, the uh, autocompleter stopped working, that's always good. Break. If you're not in the break out of here, just return it. Incompatible types. I'm sure I did that again because that's me. Oh, oh, that's fun. Uh, I kind of actually need to know what the hell the width and the height are to do this. Um, let me just pass the map and make this kind of act like a member function. You guys might have actually been catching some of these mistakes throughout the screen. They're like, what the fuck? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it went green. That means the autocompleter's going again. It just. Sometimes when there's too many errors, it has an issue. What are you complaining about now? Files. Yeah. Oh, it's a dot, I think. In this case, I th think. Yeah. There's no pointer at this point. It's not pointers to pointers. It's just the whole block of memory. Yay! Okay. Finally. Uh, what I'm going to do is throw a breakpoint right here and see what happens. Let's see. Oh, shit. I'd already printed out something, which leads me to believe that there was an issue. Um, am I really not putting my backslash ends in? That's not too smart. You know, I'm really out of practice on C if I'm doing that. Let me get a look at the actual app bundle and see if it's really putting my file in or if it's doing something stupid to it. God damn it, I really didn't want to do that. Hold up. Show and find her, please. Oh, there you go. Okay. You know, I'm going to get hung up on this. Resources. It's not there. Did not put my file in. So, why is it doing that? Is it fucking on. Oh, God. I think dot map is something that it thinks is fucking something that's not, you know, like Xcode's trying to take over it. So I'm just going to call this um, uh, field because I really don't feel like screwing around. Let me make sure that my uh, text editor picked that change up. It actually did not do it right. It should be dot .field like this. It's got some other damn extension thing. Okay, let's try that. I think it's going to work now with this here. Instead of dot map, we're looking for Yeah, that's just one of those things where it just comes with experience to know that, hey, Xcode is fucking my shit up. Really? I'm not in the mood for dumb shit. All right, let me see. Can I find it? I guess that field is another damn thing that can't. No, it's there. What the fuck? 
this might have to do with something I want to do real quick about CDing into like changing the directory into the because uh, there's a chance that SDL image is knowing to look in the resources directory and this isn't. I was kind of wondering about that. This is a Mac OS ism. Don't worry about this too much. I'm just going to really quickly uh, Mac stuff. This is something I usually hide from my tutorial videos because it's literally pointless to worry about them. I'm not a fan of this, but whatever. Just eating up time on dumb shit. Static. Void. No, static. Void change. This is Objective C just to get the damn thing into the right place. I need you too, buddy. Get yourself in there, damn it. Okay. Damn it. Let's just do this at the very beginning. When I build this for Windows, if I ever do, I will need to not do this for that. But. This might be it. I'm hoping it is. I really don't want to get sucked into this whole thing about not being able to find this fucking file. Because that has happened to me before. What are you bitching about? Shut up. Oh, you can't do that now. All right, fingers crossed. Yay, it worked. Okay, it actually like really worked. Like it looks like the tile map exists and has a width of seven and a height of eleven. And if I call get tile with my tile map, let's just try one out. So hold up. I'm glad that was not as pain, a much of a pain in the ass as I thought it would be. You never know. Okay. Z zero one should be. Oh, I made a mistake. I never incremented y here. So I literally just been reading the same row over and over and over again. That's not gonna work. So this needs to be a y plus plus here. I know that I said I wouldn't add safety checks in here, but this is one time when you definitely want to. Unfortunately, so if x. Zero or x greater than that. Or equal that height. Insert not this. I think assert is its own header in C. Good call. Okay. No, nope, didn't fail the assertion. Let's get a look here. So P get tile map. Zero one should be shield. I got back two. Please don't be ball. Yay, shield. This worked. This worked. This worked. This worked. All I gotta do now is draw it and I'll probably call it a day. Cause doing the whole game, uh, it's already been like it hasn't been a full hour yet, but we're getting there. And I feel like it's probably only going to take a half hour to draw famous last words, half hour to draw the map. Right? Sort of. Yeah, we'll just say that. One thing we have not done yet is load any of the tiles, um, images. So what I'm thinking of doing is there's really no such thing as a hash map in C, and I don't want to write one, so I was thinking of maybe like mapping these to the other things. But we could use an array. So like, let me just bust out my really old school C ways. So what I'm going to do is create an array of SDL textures, which I don't have SDL included yet. So I'm going to need that. I need that. Man, you always think it's going to go fast, and it just doesn't. Just throw this shit up here. 
I don't need the next year. I'm just not yet. Me too, do that. Getting hungry, guys. Definitely going to stop in a half hour. Texture. Um, tiles. And the way this works is you do, you know, max tiles, which is the most you think you'll ever need. Never need more than 100. And then you create this sparse array of these things and make sure that the first element set the null, which I believe in C will set the whole array to null. And then you fill these in as needed on demand. So um, we're going to have a private function here. Uh, get tile image, which will, if it's been loaded, if it's been loaded, it will... Yeah, a lot of people think C++ is ugly. Uh, my, my good buddy does. Um, it's not pretty, but damn if it doesn't get the job done once you learn it. Um, C is more tedious, but it's simpler. It's easier to understand, which is why I kind of like doing it for these videos. Yeah, so the idea of get tile image is if there's a tile, we're going to index into these by type, hence the 0, 1, 2, 3, so forth. If the uh, tiles exist for the type, we just return it. Right? Otherwise, well, there's no else we've returned. Otherwise, we load it in. So, um, ooh, we're going to need another map of file names. This one can just be straight up. This means fill it in with the size I give it, the blank brackets. Um, red player, blue player, we're not going to bring them in yet. We're just going to do this plain grass. I think of doing something really dorky, but it would take longer than just to do it this way. Grass shield ball, that's it. Wait. Empty. Empty. Yeah, there's no file type for empty. That's going to be fun. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out, sort of. Um, the idea is that you should not be getting a tile image for type, which is our good old friend, the assert. There you go. Empty means we don't draw shit. There's no image there. So let's try that again. Grass shield ball. Grass shield. There's the damn shield. I'm actually proud of that shield pixel art. I think it looks cool. And then the ball. Did I? I think that's okay. Yeah. Like that. And then those are those should not be called tiles. Should be called tile. Like so. Arrays can be your best friend in C. They really can. Um, I really don't like using assert that much. I'm not I'm like it's not my friend, but I'm already on the pattern of it. Right? Not quite. Still. WebAssembly is awesome. Uh, I have not used it since I, I, I just haven't had a need yet. I, I have a really old ASM.js, which is a very similar uh, compilation of my engine. But, um, oh, fuck me. Are you kidding me? Sorry. I just realized I need the renderer. I really think that I'm just going to make this one of those things you can get from anywhere. Yeah, I would never do this in C++, but in C, I feel like this is not the end of the world. Like so. There we go. Sure, pal, whatever you say. We're going to need main.h now. Did I fuck up? Man, come on. Renderer, we got it. And then the format. Oh, I always fucking do this. SDL create texture. Texture and surface, something like that. Renderer. By the way, if you guys ever actually picked up Espresso C, I do appreciate that. That's awesome. I've actually had a reasonable number of people using that thing, and I'm, I need to update it. I know I haven't maintained it as well, but uh, it's cool that you guys with uh Help me with that, it's, you know. Yeah. Okay, surface, like so. Now we don't need the surface. I need to break this into utility function. I'm typing this way too much. Square, free surface. 
Now the only tricky business about this is um, I'm going to have to call this on exit to free all the memory back when the app leaves. I just need to do that. Um, otherwise I'd feel kind of crappy. So you know my blood sugar is low and I'm getting really groggy. We're just going to quickly iterate through this damn thing like so. Throw the if up here. So, goodbye, you've been killed. And then we call this at the end of everything when we shut the entire game down. What the hell did I call this? System. That gives back the globe. Yeah, I guess this is a global tile memory. We gotta give that back, so. Works for me, guys. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have these ready, so it's kind of silly, but during the load, what I might do is essentially... Yeah, whatever. If get tile at x, y, greater zero, load the guy. So let me just do this instead. This will work. I'll just, and all right, doing all this shit I shouldn't need to be doing. Lucky there's not like hundreds of these. They get really tedious. I mean, there might be some day, but not right now. I don't have to do this shit. I can just do it with tile. Zero. I know I'm not using the return value for this. I'm just assuming it'll be loaded for me. That's not a moron. And I am. Tiles type text. If I don't do that, it'll just load it literally every time I call this, which would be really fucking stupid. I've done things like that before. What are you talking about? What is this thing of type? Okay. Alrighty, now we are finally ready, not really, to draw this damn. Boy, draw tile. The X and the Y are not the tile, they're the position we're going to draw this at. The most complicated function, I'm going to put it in the bottom. Render is global, so I'm not passing it in. And help us all. Not going to be fun. Okay. First things first. I'm going to start out doing this stupidly, and then I'm going to do it less stupidly. In other words, hold my hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fucking stone. Stupid. Uh, we're going to draw the map. I always draw Y first, so Y0, Y0. So this is looping over every single tile in the damn map. And then we do SDL. I don't know if render copy does alpha transparency. I guess we'll find out. I kind of feel like it doesn't. Um, we're going to have to stretch this by a factor of two as well, because again, we're on a 640 by 40 screen here. Um, texture, this is easy. Get tile, image. I might as well reuse my own functions. Not gonna hurt anything. Maybe if you cared like about insane levels of performance, but not not at this point. It's not worth it. Okay. Destrect. Um, this is gonna matter because we need um, we need to know exactly where the tile is gonna go. 
kind of what I'm going to do, Red Chant. I, I, but what's really cool about this site that I found is that this guy does all the thinking for me. He literally has this beautiful, like, this is where everything goes. This is the spacing and blah, 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 blah. So I might use that because my brain's starting to break. But, yeah, I'm going to try doing it stupid. Or <laughs> that's the wrong way to say it. But I'm going to try doing it naively first and then see how much of this I really need. Because, again, I've never done hex tiles before, so it could be, uh, it could be strange. But yeah, it really is just half the width, you're right. Um, and in my map, I, oh, no, don't tell me I'm a moron. No, I'm not. Am I? No, I start on an even boundary. I was worried. Okay. First things first, if the... We only do this if the type is not... None. Oh, God, there's a lot of nuns. You use the word none. I could just say, you know, fuck this. Like, I know what I'm trying to be all, like, legible, but, like, you know, it's if type. It really is at this point. Tile wrapped. I know I'm not drawing it at zero, bear with me, I'm coming back, because the width and the height need to be uh, 32. Okay. Is the spacing really the same as the tile? Yes. You're right. Um, offset equals x mod 2. 16, which is half of the thing, otherwise zero. Wait, that's even, Mike. Real smart. Odd is where it shifts. So that's the use of modulus. You guys get to see that. Uh, y, what the fuck am I doing here? Uh, y is an entire height. This is, I thought this would be harder for some reason. I guess maybe not. Oh, we need, to, we need to offset X and Y. So this is an issue. Um, the, one of the cool things about C is that you can call, X and, call it X and Y here, but then call it something else here. I really don't know what the fuck you can call it. P, X, P, Y, sure, whatever, I don't care. And we're going to add those as well. Like so. Holy shit, this might be the whole thing, but I think it's going to draw things black, so just bear with me on that. So I also don't know how to center this thing yet. I'm probably going to have a function that I'm going to write here called to get the width and height of the map so I can divide them by two and center them and so forth. But right now, this is one of the cool things about this. Like, you write this function, and then you just get to call your nice little function right here. hundred. 100's a lot for 320 by 240, but not 640 by 480 ish. Maybe do something. Let's watch it all break, guys. Watch it break. It's fucking broken. It would appear as if it can't find one of my files. I mean, everybody was all excited to see it work, you know, like an hour and 10 minutes of programming. You don't get to see anything. Oh. You know, this was stupid. <laughs> you can't pass an array of strings in as the file. It might not work if you do that. A little tidbit of, oh god, what am I, oh no, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Come on! It was completely fucked, but I'm just happy to see it on the screen. Uh, let's see what I completely did wrong here. Because I definitely know here... It does not look... Okay, well, we'll get it. We, we got 20 minutes here. It's time for a banana. Let's get a banana. We're going to take a short break and have a banana. How's everybody doing out there? Doing this without taking a break is, is not good for you. Uh, I will definitely say that. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I don't burn my CPU up while I uh while I look at it and then we're gonna go to full camp. Banan Banana. You're not supposed to eat on stream they say, but I say I need it. Oh god, that's weird. We're gonna get it. We got something on the screen. So that's good. You know? 
It should be trivial. I need the plate. It should be trivial to get the uh, the positions right from here. I really wanted to have uh, like work on the dice rolling in the actual game, but like I'm not dumb. Like even if you're decent at coding, you can't make a whole game in an hour. Like I don't want to do this on the screen. Weird. But I need the food, guys. I can't code without food. As a matter of fact, I'm like really behind on eating today. I'm supposed to eat a certain amount every day, you know. Yeah. I wonder how many viewers there are. I kind of can't check. Let me just fix this for a sec. I, I guarantee you this is going to break uh, the... Uh, yeah, the banana emoji does not work on uh, OBS. Yeah, Ash, I agree. You're allowed to eat on stream occasionally. It's kind of unprofessional, I guess. But this, you know, this channel is not my job, you know. It's just something I do for fun. So. It's been a great turnout. You know, I really was expecting, like, nobody uh, to come to this. So, it's been great, you know? Maybe scheduling them is the answer, and I'm not playing Rocket League and losing, too, which is, like, nothing to do with my channel. Uh, oh, God. I'm just trying to check on the actual uh, stream health here because I haven't had a chance to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this banana, and then I'm going uh, I'm going to go back and fix the tile map. And then we're going to essentially call it a day probably after that. Because I imagine I'll be pretty wiped out by then. I really like this game idea though. So uh, I'm probably going to revisit it in the, in the future. Because it's the kind of game that I would actually probably... God, this app is such a piece. It's the kind of game that I would actually like to play um, in the future. You know? Alright, I give up. Who cares how many people are watching? I can't find out. Really, you make this difficult on YouTube, don't they? I thought about going to Twitch, but you know what? I have like three Twitch followers, so what's the point? Alright, let's finish this damn thing. Let's go back to work, damn it. This isn't fucking charity. Alright. So, this is what we wrote, this is what we got, we got to fix it. One thing that's obvious is the basic system is working. You see we got three grasses up top with three spaces in between, that's what we have over here. What's not working is the offset it seems to be literally in the opposite direction, and even some of these seem to be on top of each other. So that, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's X. Huh. Hey, real, real C14, what's going on? Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you got something from the videos. You know, one of the reasons why I do them is I just feel like it's too hard for people to uh, have, find material to get started without it coming across as being too complicated. Um, all right, so let me see this. Preview. I'm going to have to look at this for a second here. So what happens if I don't offset them? What if I just do this dumbly? Dumbly. Okay. Let's try that. Huh. 
Okay, that makes sense. So what did it look like before? They're going the wrong fucking way, somehow. Like, you see how the shield was moved to the left instead of the right? That, like, that's probably not I, what you're supposed to fucking do. Just, like... No, so I was, I was thinking it was because it's times 32, but we do 16 here. Last I freaking checked, positive meant to the right. Okay, something's really weird here. We'll get it. I get the feeling like it's... Oh! No? No, I was thinking that maybe the Y was not being incremented. And it is. Y is zero to height. The, the, the map might be inverted, like, top to bottom, which is fine. Like, I could fix that easily. It was throwing me off here. Huh. So I don't know, like, what's causing this. Like, that's weird as fuck. And the X does start at zero every time. So, like, that's not... So I was thinking maybe, like, the rows are spilling over, causing X to... It's mod two, so it can only be zero or one. Like, there's no in-between situations. Okay, we're going to look at this with the offset zero one more time. Okay, so that was definitely the cause of the overlap. I hate to do this. It feels so stupid, but let's print the offsets out. You know, it doesn't hurt to get a good look at it. And I'm an idiot because I did not put backslash n, so everything's just going to flip out. So let's try that again. Yeah, Ash, I'm, I'm going to keep the stream archive online for you guys. Otherwise, it's kind of like really sad if you miss it. What the fuck? Did you guys see on this? The damn thing is going up by two. Like X is one, three, five, zero. That can't be right. All right, let me see what the hell I'm doing here, because I get the feeling that... Oh, that is so weird. Oh! Yeah, hold on. Well, it's not going to explain everything, but... It actually helps organize the code a little bit better anyway. I was skipping the blanks when I was printing. It was not helping me figure this out, to say the least. One, two, three, so. It's 16 every other time. Like, there's no other time where it's not 16. Right? So. Oh, shit. I honestly don't even necessarily think this will help because it's pretty common sense at this point what I'm doing, right? No, maybe not. Look, because the, the difference between the top and the bottom is actually this guy is not starting here. He's starting one-third up. So it's actually, yeah, I knew there was something going on. So let's do that first, right? So we're going to leave the offset the way it is. So this is not y times 32. This is actually y times three-fourths of 32. Don't judge me. I don't fucking know what the value is. 24. So this should be 24. That'll at least fix the... Yeah, all right. Now now we just got to fix the offset, which is kind of weird. Like, this guy's in the right... Like, these are all perfect. And then... Some of them get clobble fucked together. Like, why is this guy... Oh, God! Why didn't you tell me it was Y instead of X? Man. Sometimes I wonder about myself. It's 
fucking perfect. Oh, that is awesome. I like it. That's so cool. So now I can edit this and edit the map. That is awesome. So like, suppose we want the ball to change to a shield, right? Bam. Oh man, that is so cool. I still like get a kick out of this, even though like, you know, this is the kind of stuff I learned how to do when I was a lot younger. I still really like enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And I've never done a hex map before. So that that's super fun too. Well, I could even like blow the screen up bigger and like really accentuate the pixels if I wanted to. So we got about seven minutes left. I probably am not going to start another task simply because there's no way I can really do anything in seven minutes. I mean, I could draw the player, but you guys get the idea what it's going to look like. But, you know, if you look at from here to here, I mean, it's pretty much like what I wanted. Like we fucking did it. So, um, man, that's going to be awesome. I actually can't wait to, to, to start working on this. There's a little lack of symmetry here. Like maybe this one should be on the right, but... Considering the guys are starting at opposing sides, I think it's fine, you know? I think it's good. I, I just like, I get that urge to keep working on it, but I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna run the stream too long, so. I'll probably come back to this concept, either on a stream here or, yeah, it probably will be here. So if you guys like this, just let me know in the comments. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. Probably one of my better streams, because usually everything goes wrong when I stream. So, uh, pretty pretty satisfied with this. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm happy with my little hex map module that I wrote. Like, it's super simple, but it gets the job done, and um, the math seems to work, at least on a basic level. So, I'm just going to look at it one more time, because I'm kind of happy with it. And then we'll probably, uh, probably call it a day. Yeah. Come on. That's... In a silly way, kind of one of the harder parts, hardest part out of the way of this. So, thanks, guys. Uh, great time, and um, more to come in the future.